blub, 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 blub. Hi, people. I'm Chi, and this is my daughter. I'm Abby. In times like these, it's even more important to treasure your family members and hold them close. Sadly, I live in London, and because of that, I miss Chinese New Year this year. And I was telling my mom I really miss eating tang yuan. And for those of you who don't know, tang yuan is actually glutinous rice balls that Chinese families like eating because it represents family reunion and unity. So today, I'm going to share a super simplified tang yuan recipe that takes only 15 minutes to make and requires only 3 ingredients. So come on, let's get started! The ingredients are glutinous rice flour, dried rosebuds which are coming and healing, and raw honey. Gradually add half cup of room temperature water to one cup of glutinous rice flour. Stir until they form a smooth, soft dough. This is so easy to do that Abby is making it for the first time. Have fun kneading the dough. Form little even sized balls with the dough. This is a nice family bonding activity too. Bring some water to boil. Add in the rose flowers and the rice balls. They are cooked when they float. Sweeten with raw honey to taste. All done. Fresh rose flavoured glutinous rice balls ready to serve. Yay, I'm so excited. Me too. I want to know how you think. What do you think? Okay, first off, it smells really nice. Like the rose smell is very comforting and it just feels very exquisite. Um, I'm gonna try tasting it now. Okay, let me see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Give me a while to chew. Yeah, okay. I really like it because number one, it's not as gelat as the other tang yuans that I normally eat because um, it doesn't have the peanut filling or like the sesame filling. And it feels like I'm eating a really tiny pillow with just the right amount of chewiness. So I, I really like it and I want more. So you can tell that it's really easy to make this dessert. I hope that you will get many many opportunities to make this dessert and enjoy meaningful moments with your family. And as for me, I'm super grateful for this special moment that she's here right now. If you make this dessert with your friends and family, please send us some of your pictures because we'll love to see it. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye!